So in order to get the secret synth engine for the OP1 called Eider, go to op1.fun and make yourself an account. The next step is going to be to go over to the patches link and search for ITER, the patch Eider. It's going to be the one that comes up in the lower right hand side. And you're going to want to click on it and download it. The next step is to go into your downloads folder and to take that patch and go ahead and just drag it onto your desktop. Then you're going to want to open up your OP1 disk and then go into the synth folder, go into the user folder, and then drag the IDER patch into the user folder. After that, you can go ahead and eject the OP1 disk from your computer and restart your OP1. Next, hit the Synth button and hold down Shift and any number 1 through 8 to bring up the Synth Engine selection menu. Scroll down to User and then locate the patch Eider and then go ahead and hit the button again. Welcome to the Eider engine, which starts off with some pretty crazy parameters on it. So let's go ahead and disengage the LFO by hitting four twice. And here's a cool special filter. Let's get rid of that for now by hitting three a second time. And you'll see that the uh, amp envelope curve is crazy. So let's bring that to something a little bit more reasonable. No attack. Let's bring up the sustain and bring the release down a little bit. Also, there's a ton of portamento on this patch. So go ahead and hit shift and two. And let's decrease the portamento using the green knob to zero. Okay, now we're at a kind of default sound for this engine. We're not being affected by anything crazy like the cool new filter or the LFO. This isn't a tutorial on how this engine functions. I mean, that's the point of the OP1 is to have fun exploring it for yourself. But certainly by turning off the LFO and the cool filter, bringing the portamento down to zero, and getting the amp enveloped as something that you're familiar with will aid you as you explore this engine. You can certainly use this engine to get some cool organ sounds. This engine is pretty good for getting some noise action going on for washes and cymbal hits. The only other place I can really find noise on the OP-1 is in the digital engine. I still have a long way to go for how to use this engine properly. I hope you have fun exploring it too.